Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about other statements related to looping. In our previous classes, we discussed about the for loop, while loop and do while loop. Now, we are going to see the other statements related to these looping statements. Okay. Three other statements are related to loops. They are break, continue, go to. So break. The break statement terminates the inner loop. The inner loop is nothing but you are going to write another loop in loop. So that means if you are using the for loop. In this for loop you are going to write another for loop. So this we are called as a inner loop. Okay. So that means if you write so break in these loops, what happened? The loop will be terminated. If there are only one loop, the loop will be terminated. If there is inner loops, then the inner loop will be terminated. The syntax is you are going to use this keyword. Simply break. If I write break here, break, this loop will be terminated. We discuss with example. Another one is continue. The statement skip the iteration and control transfer to control statement control statement is nothing but condition condition okay so in for loop you are going to write one condition this is the condition for example 10 less than 5 is the condition if you are using the break then the control goes to outside the loop here if instead of break you are writing the continue then the control goes to this condition okay we discuss with one example so this is the example here. Here you are taking one number. So num equals to 10. The variable num equals to 10. Here you are writing one for loop. In the equals to num i greater than 0 i plus plus you are going to print the i value. You ignore about this. Okay. So what is the actual output? i equals to num. So i equals to 10. 10 greater than 0 true so we enter into this block and so print i value what is i value 10 is the output after the control goes to increment or decrement i minus minus so i becomes 9 now 9 greater than 0 true again you are going to print the i value 9 similarly it prints 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay so now you observe this statement break. What is the break? So break is a unconditional statement. If you are executing this break is nothing but you terminate this loop. You come out from this loop. Here when i value becomes 5. That means at one stage if 5 equals to equals to 5. Then this condition will be true. This condition will be true. Enter into this block break. So break means outside the loop so at the point this is the output 10 9 8 7 6 okay instead of break if you are using the continue in the same place if you are using the continue so what is the purpose of the continue the continue statement is used to skip the iteration and the control goes to condition so now same output 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 if you are not using this continue statement now at some point i value becomes 5 so so 5 equals to equals to 5 true enter into this block continue so continue means if it is a break the control goes to here here it is continue so the control goes to so next statement i minus minus so now it becomes so i is skipped so so 5 is skipped after that it again checks 4 greater than 0 true so enter into this block 4 3 2 1 okay i hope you all are understand the difference between break and continuum what is the break output 10 9 8 7 6 in this case when i value becomes 5 the loop will be terminated so we don't enter into the loop again but coming to continue so continue statement is used to skip the iteration here in first iteration 10 9 8 7 6 here the condition is true 
So continue here. So continue is nothing but skip the iteration. The, the below instructions does not execute. And again the control goes to condition. Checks the condition. If it is true, again it starts execution. So in this place we skip 5. So why? Here we are using the continue. In break statement we terminate the loop. Okay. So next statement is so go to statement. So go to. So this statement provides an unconditional jump from the go to a label statement in the same function. Okay. So normally in any programming language we avoid this go to because if you use this go to statement it is difficult to trace the flow of control of your program. So, so normally we avoid this go to statement. The syntax for go to statement is this is the keyword go to and you can write label here. For example, go to ABC. Then you are going to write a label ABC in your program. Then the control goes to ABC label. Okay. So this is the example. Here I am right, taking one number. Num equals to 10. So here I am writing one, one loop. So this is the while loop. So this is the while loop. So for this loop, I am going to give a label. If you observe that, what is the label name here? Loop. So loop is the label name. If I call go to loop, that's it. The control goes to here. So now, so while num greater than 0. Yes, n greater than 0. It is true. So enter into the block. If num equals to equals to 5, no. So print the value num. What is the num value? 10 and decrement num so it is next iteration it becomes 9 so 9 greater than 0 true again you are going to print num and decrement the num so it becomes 8 8 greater than 0 true enter into the block you are going to print num and decrement so it becomes 7 so 7 6 at one point num equals to 5 no so 5 greater than 0 true enter into the block 5 equals to equals to 5 it is true so enter into this block num minus minus so num value equals to 4 go to loop so go to loop that means we skip all these instruction and unconditional we are going to the control goes to this label loop label now again it starts execution okay so now n value 4 so 4 greater than 0 true so enter into this 4 equals to equals to 5 false you are going to print num so it prints 4 3 2 1 as a output so this is about so other statements related to looping and we call these statements as a unconditional statements also so now we see the execution of break statement in this you are going to print the numbers from 10 to 0 here we are using the break when i value becomes 5 now we can check that gcc program 21 dot c dot slash a dot out if you observe that it prints 10 9 8 7 6 when i value becomes 5 break the same program instead of break here I am using continue so continue means skip skip the iteration now we can check that gcc program 22.c to execute dot slash a dot dot if you observe the 10 9 8 7 6 after that sub so 5 at the time it skips the remaining instructions remaining 4 3 2 1 displayed so now we see so go to statement here this loop is a label so this is the go to statement in go to you can specify the label now the control goes to this label loop okay we execute this program gcc program 23.c dot slash a dot out okay when num value equals to equals to 5 
then the control goes to this label loop.